hour. Your race is still close to call. You're behind by a little. How do you feel? Tired. We've knocked on 9,000 doors and shaken tons of hands and waved a lot of signs, and I'm looking forward to finally having some resolution to this. Laura, I have to say, about a week ago, the Herald Tribune turned into the press agent for Keith Fitzgerald, it seemed like. Almost every day they did some kind of story going after you and the campaign that you ran. How do you feel about the press coverage of your, camp of your race? Well, I'll tell you, probably the most interesting part was when I was called by one of those reporters me of all kinds of wild things. I said, have you read any bill that he filed or looked at any of the information I provided? And when he admitted he had not, I think you could pretty much say, yeah, they're in the tank for the opponent, and that's all you can say. Where did you spend most of your time in this campaign? Oh, uh, grassroots, on the ground. Uh, we really felt, and I think it was really important to get on and meet people and ask them exactly what they thought was important. It wasn't about what I wanted to do for the district. It's what I needed the district to get done. And so I went out and asked them, and, and after nine thousand doors. You know, you really heard a lot of great stories. Where did you prioritize your funds? Uh, well, we really wanted to get the message out in the mail about the record of the guy I was running against, and we felt it was important so people had information that they could verify for themselves, because that's what I hear time and again. People want to know how to find things for themselves, and they don't know where to look. So we focused on that, where to go and how to find it, even made a website to make it easy for people. You uh, served on the school board, and now you've been a state rep candidate twice. Uh, if, you, if you don't win, and I know you're still hopeful, yeah. what's next for Laura Benson? Uh, I need a job. <laughs> <laughs> How about co-host my show? How about that? Come on, I can do that. <laughs> okay. I'll put you on the list. Okay, thanks. We're here at Supervisor of Elections, uh, candidate Barry Sullivan at the uh, at the Democratic Party headquarters. Barry, looks like you uh, you didn't pull it off tonight. Uh, it's your first time running for any kind of office, though. What did you think? Well, Ron, I enjoyed the experience. I made a, a lot of new friends uh, that'll be old friends, I hope. And uh, and I, we, we brought some issues up that concerning the elections office. So um, I, I'm glad I did it. Um, I have no regrets. And I congratulate Mrs. Dent. Um, as, as you know, we had a very uh, non-negative uh, cam campaign going. Uh, and I, I think that's a, a model for all the other candidates. You're a high-ranking official in the sheriff's office. We just came from Tom Knight's party. He's pretty happy. There's a lot of deputies down there kissing the ring. How do you feel about Tom Knight coming as the new sheriff? Well, uh, both of the candidates uh, would, are going to, make, you know, would have made a, a great sheriff, and I, I congratulate Tom. I uh, was on the campaign trail with him, and I look forward to working with him. Have we heard the last of Barry Sullivan? You going to run for something again? Well, I've been uh, involved in public service since I was 18 years old, starting in the military and all, all through law enforcement. So, uh, no, I'm not giving up on public service. I don't know uh, about my political career. I'll have to give that some thought right now. Okay. Thanks, Barry. Thank you, Ron. Let me ask y'all a question. This is our fifth party we've been to tonight. We hit all the Republican. We hit all the Republican parties first. I gotta say, this place is rocking. Why? Why did Democrats uh, party uh, better than Republicans? I guess because hearts that are so full of hope and we're so positive. You know, we just we, we know that this man is gonna make our dreams come true. And I mean, how can you not party on those kinds of ideas? Party, party. <laughs> Why are Democrats' parties better than the Republicans? We, we're winning and they're losing. Oh, okay, all right. I accept that. Okay. Rita, what a difference 2008 from 2004. You have done a tremendous job recruiting strong field of local candidates in every race who perform very well. How do you feel about the Democratic Party and the future in Sarasota? We couldn't be more pleased to have run a two-party system back to Sarasota County. As you can see, we've had Building a complete slate of local Democrats really helped energize the party. I think that helped energize the party. I think a shift in demographics has helped the party. I think we've improved voter registration here in Sarasota County. And I think having both Barack Obama and Joe Biden really sort of sealed the deal. Um, I talked to a lot of the, the, the local candidates, including the ones who lost, and they're still enthusiastic and plan on running again. Yeah, we the team here and you know when you're the underdog and you're the minority party you know that team spirit that sense of family we really accomplished and you know we knew that together we could accomplish 
much more than a part. And so that's why these guys are really happy, because they think we've made one giant leap forward. Well, you can tell that from the energy in this room. I mean, it's a, there, it's a big contrast from the Republican events, I'll tell you that. Rita, congratulations. Welcome back to Cloud 941. Welcome back. We, you see, uh, our guest tonight is Rita Ferrandino, who we captured from the Democrat Party there, and we, we, uh, we hauled her into the studio here because we couldn't, couldn't finish asking her all the questions that we wanted to ask her, so we brought her in. Rita, how are you? I am terrific. It's a great day to be a Democrat in Sarasota County and in this country. What, what does, you're, you're the chair of the, uh, the Democratic Party of Sarasota County. What exactly does the county party chair do? What's your role? Well, my job is very similar to the Republican chairman's role, and, and our mission is very clear, to get Democrats elected. And so our function is to act as the get-out-to-vote machine. Uh, we, we worked very hard um, this election season to recruit very qualified candidates to run. We had a slate of 20 candidates here locally, uh, which was uh, the first time in Sarasota to have such a strong slate of qualified candidates to run and then we needed to support them with our um, get out to vote machinery one of the things I asked you about that I wanted to follow up on is does having the low all a uh, full slate of local candidates I think you had what two or three four years ago on the ballot maybe H how many did you have in 2004 four, yeah. we had one contested race okay so these does helping does having all those local candidates on the ballot help get your people out to vote does it help the presidential candidate, do you think? Absolutely. You know, there's, there's some people who would say that it's the local candidates that help the presidential candidate at a local level. Um, here uh, in Sarasota, we certainly saw that with 20 candidates and getting 20 campaigns together and 20 new sets of, of um, uh, interested people um, running on the Democratic slate, that it really helped to build momentum here and build confidence in the Democratic Party. You know, I would think all of their friends, their supporters, and their family members show up to vote for them, and I'm sure they're voting for your candidate at the top, right? Absolutely, and it has an exponential effect. And, you know, when you're the minority party, um, it's really important for you to coalesce as a team. And, and I think that that's one of the things we have been most successful at here locally is that we were able to really build a candidate team that really worked together because they really understood that together they uh, could accomplish more than a part. And then what we were able to do was really build a substantial base of volunteers. Uh, the Obama campaign uh, came in in June, and they had a very, very strong ground game that they set up locally. And then we worked hand-in-hand -hand with them um, to maximize uh, what they were doing and what we were doing so that together we, we really made a big impact here in Sarasota. How did you get the job of party chair and when did you get it? Um, I was elected um, April of 2007. Um, I had been active in the party and um, Sarasota had really been uh, identified at the national and at the state level as being a county that could really go from red to blue. And we all know that this has been, Sarasota has been known as a Republican stronghold for a very long time. But in 2004 and in 2006, we started to see a shift uh, in, in uh, voter trending. And in 2006, uh, Senator Bill Nelson here in this county got 56.8% of the vote. Alex Sink got 50.8% of the vote. And that, Christine Jennings did well. And Christine Jennings, I believe, was at 50% as well. So we really saw the crossover was possible, and we saw that Democratic candidates could attract uh, a crossover Republican vote and also an independent. Um, they could attract an independent voter. And that was really why we were targeted by the state and, the, and uh, the national level as this presidential election being able to be a player.